Su Qingfeng felt very uncomfortable. As soon as he crossed the Doloa continent, he was picked up by the dragon god Doloa Moon and returned to Shrek Academy. He was appointed as the holy son of the sea god pavilion and became the darling of a group of elderly residents. Just because of its extraordinary appearance, born in the realm of immortality, every move has the temperament of a divine son, unparalleled in the world, floating like an immortal, awakening the unparalleled polar star martial soul, mastering the nine ultimate attributes, and possessing infinite potential. Wang Donger was shocked to see him, even in the divine realm, she had never seen such a worldly person. Her heart was filled with admiration. After meeting Ma Xiaotao for the first time, she had already decided that he was the only one in this life, and even the senior sister in the inner courtyard, Zhang Lishuan, felt inferior to her. Wang Nan Nan and Xiao Xiao admired him greatly. Wu Xin Xian Liner Qing Feng is the most talented soul mentor in a century. Hui Yu Hao Brother Qing Feng not only has outstanding looks, but also has great foresight. I listen to everything from Brother Qing Feng, Tang San said, if Su Qing Feng is willing to be my son. In law, I can immediately betroth Dong Er to him and use her throne as a dowry. The first members of Shrek's seven monsters, including Zhu Zhu Qing, Ning Rongrong, and Xiao Wu, who had already become gods, were also amazed by their unparalleled abilities in the world, semi-invincible text, easy text, walking by and coming in to take a look, keywords of the novel. Doluo. Me, the holy son of the sea god pavilion, unparalleled in the world with no pop-ups, Doluo. Me, the holy son of the sea god pavilion, unparalleled in the world. Download the complete text. Doluo. Me, the holy son of the sea god pavilion, unparalleled in the world. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Unparalleled Su Ching Fong. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 1 Unparalleled Su Ching Fong Dolua Continent. Shrek Academy in the Eastern Part of the Heavenly Soul Empire. Dawn rises from the east, and a faint sunlight falls on the magnificent city. It is the start of the enrollment season at Shrek College, and the surroundings of the college are bustling with a thriving scene. The environment inside the college is beautiful, and the garden has been carefully designed. Dozens or even hundreds of beautiful plants that can purify the air are thriving in the flower beds. Dear future students, ahead is our Shrek Square, where the iconic building of the college stands. They are the first founders and great figures of our Shrek College. It is said that by devoutly praying to them, one may realize their wishes. Several hundred meters ahead from the main entrance of Shrek College, a huge statue gradually appeared, blocking everyone's view. The dean of the college responsible for the assessment of new student registration introduced to the new students. There are three statues in the front row, and the elderly man in the center, wearing glasses and looking very kind and smiling, is the founder and first dean of our Shrek College, Frand. The person on his left is one of the ancestors of the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex sect, who created the teaching foundation of various departments of martial soul at Shrek Academy and the top ten core competitiveness in the martial soul world. He is a remarkable master. On the right.hand side, this is the wife of Master Yu Xiao Jiang and a close friend of Dean Frand. They are collectively known as the Golden Iron Triangle and are also a powerful ancestor. Her love story with Master Yu Xiao Jiang is poignant. Suddenly, someone in the crowd raised a question. But I heard that Lu Erlong is the cousin of the master. Can marrying his own sister also make one cry? New student, what do you know? Do you know what a master is? Do you know what a great person is? Listen carefully and study hard. Don't speak much until you understand the truth, Otherwise you will slander Shrek's ancestors, and the college will directly expel you from the college. All right, the seven statues after them are the Shrek's seven monsters, who once forged brilliance and composed the 10,000-year history of Dolua continent. Ranked first is White Tiger Dolua Dai Mubai, followed by Sausage Dolua Oscar, and the third is Thousand-Armed Dolua Tang San. He is also the most powerful and outstanding soul master in the history of the Shrek Seven Monsters. 
According to records, he once launched the Battle of the Four Gods and achieved the ultimate victory, which is remarkable. The fourth one is the evil phoenix Do Roman Red June, and the fifth one is the soft bone Do Lua Shao Wu. This is worth introducing to you. It is said that this ancestor was trained as a soul beast for 100,000 years and was also the wife of the thousand armed Dolo. If there is a peerless talent among all the students, they can become one in a thousand talents in the future and have contact with the soul beast for 100,000 years. Don't forget that the soul beast for 100,000 years can not only be used as a soul ring, but also as a wife, the last two are the ancestors of the seven treasures glass sect, the nine treasures Dolua Ning Rongro, who holds the strongest auxiliary title, and the underworld Dolua Zhu Zhu Qin, who are representatives of the Min Attack Soul Master. As long as you major in martial soul, whether it's control, auxiliary, or food, you can find the target you're pursuing among our seven Shrek ancestors. The new student guide of Shrek College introduces the origin and outstanding figures of Shrek College, attracting countless people's admiration and showing their admiration. At this moment, two figures slowly walked from a distance and entered the interior of the college. The old man was dressed in a gray cloth suit, with wrinkles on his face that were enough to trap two or more flies at the same time. His eyes were dim, his eyelids drooped, and he looked like he was in his old age. He walked ahead hunched, with the Shrek Academy's honor plaque hanging on his chest, and his journey was smooth and unobstructed. And the young man followed behind the old man, vaguely hearing the introductions in the college, feeling a little speechless in his heart. Indeed, history is written by the winners, and the losers have nothing. If the Marshall Soul Hall had won in the past, then Shrek Academy and Shrek Seven Monsters would be nothing now. The young man looked like he was eleven or twelve years old, but the sunlight shone on him as if it were a sacred golden light, rendering him as if he were a divine sun descending to earth. Standing eight feet tall, full of grace and grace, every move seems to touch the radiance of the world, mysterious and sacred. At first glance, it is a talent of heaven and earth, unparalleled in the world. This peerless face is something that even the Creator would be amazed by, and anyone who has watched it would marvel at it, even involuntarily falling in love with it. Su Qing Fong is really handsome. Along the way, all the passers-by stopped for him, couldn't help but look back, and some even saw his back flowing with saliva. As soon as he appeared, he caught everyone's attention, and each girl blushed and looked at him with love in their eyes. A few tens of meters away, two men and a woman were also watching the statue on the square. One young man was tall and slender, while the other young man was young and determined. The girl had a lively face and a bell-like aura. They only saw Su Qingfeng's back, and Tanya was a bit skeptical. Is it really that beautiful? There are so many people watching. Who is it? Bebe also frowned and said, we can also be considered old students in the outer courtyard. We haven't heard of such a number one person, have we? Is it Jiang Nan Nan? Never mind, it's important to help Xiao Yuheo enroll, Tanya said. Hui Yu Hao couldn't help but turn his head and saw a silhouette through the cracks in the crowd. The silhouette looked very sacred, with a hint of golden light floating around him. It's not difficult to imagine the handsomeness of that person. Qing Feng, hurry up and follow me closely. It's very dangerous outside, there are many bad people, only I can protect you. The grey-clothed old man turned to Su Qing Feng and said, then, Su Qing Feng felt as if a wind had formed under his feet, and quickly disappeared from everyone's sight along with the old man. Su Qing Feng is actually not a native of Dolua continent, but a human from Earth who has traveled through it. While playing a game called Peerless Tangmen, he created an unparalleled face for himself. Unexpectedly, he truly entered the era of Dolua continent and Peerless Tangmen. At first, Su Qing Feng was very uncomfortable. When he thought about how thousands of years had passed since the battle between the Martial Soul Hall and the Houtian sect, Xiao Wuzhen had become a powerful divine king, and Dolua Star would become the backyard of the Tang family. What hope did he have for his life? What else do you have besides this unparalleled face and unparalleled beauty? 
What about the system? What about crushing the strength of all soul masters? Not a single one. And he also descended into a desert with no water source or food. At that time, a terrible old man stood in the radiance, extending his hands to him and showing a kind smile. Child, do you want to become a great soul master? Become my disciple, I can help you. Later, Su Ching Feng learned that the name of this terrible old man was Mu and he also has several identities, namely the most powerful person in Shrek Academy for a thousand years, the Lord of the Sea God Pavilion, and one of the three ultimate fighters in the world. The main focus of this book is on a handsome, refreshing, and easy to laugh and unwind character, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Am I the Holy Son of the Sea God Pavilion? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Am I the Holy Son of the Sea God Pavilion? One day later, Shrek College, in the center of Sea God Lake, Sea God Island. There are many buildings on Sea God Island, but the tallest and most magnificent one is the Sea God Pavilion located in the center of the island. The Sea God Pavilion has six floors, each of which is over ten meters high. The mist emanating from the attic on the lake creates a hazy and dreamy atmosphere, emitting a faint radiance. The Sea God Pavilion is also the most important place in the entire Shrek Academy, and the Shrine of Shrek Academy is also located here. It is the center of the entire Shrek Academy, and the significant decisions made by the soul masters residing here will affect the future of the entire Dolua continent. The soft water vapor mixed with fresh air swirls around, and the deep blue water of Haishan Lake is pure and gentle. The blue brocade-like surface of the lake is undulating with a layer of slight ripples, like the graceful autumn waves of a little girl, reflecting the reflection of the blue sky and white clouds and the shaded green trees by the lake. Several figures walked over the lake and arrived at the Sea God Pavilion. They hurriedly entered the conference hall of the Sea God Pavilion and sat down around an oval long table. In the hall, more than ten people, including the Dean and Vice Dean of the Martial Soul Department and Soul Guidance Department of Shrek Academy, as well as the elders of the Sea God Pavilion, took their seats and began to exchange ideas. At the end of the long table on the right side, a tall and burly man in his fifties, with white hair like a steel needle, spoke up first. I don't know what major event happened when the Lord suddenly convened a meeting of the Sea God Pavilion. The Sea God Pavilion Conference is the highest conference of Shrek College, and each emergency temporary meeting often has a significant impact, even determining the direction of the continent. The sudden convening of the Pavilion Master must be quite important. Mr. Xian, the host of the Sea God Pavilion, said calmly with a chicken leg in his left hand and a wine gourd in his right hand, eating and drinking while enjoying himself. Anyway, let's wait for the Lord to appear before we talk said Xian Liner. Behind the curtain of the Sea God Pavilion Hall, Mu En looked at Su Qing Feng with satisfaction on his face and said softly and gently. Xia King Feng, wait here. As soon as I call you, you come out. Su Qing Feng looked at him helplessly and said, Teacher, what exactly do you want to do? It's nothing, I just want to give you the throne as a pawn. You must be my heir. Ah. To be honest, I don't really want to be your heir, Su Qingfeng shrugged and said lightly. Can there be a good outcome for the heir of the Lord of the Sea God Pavilion? The higher you stand, the worse you throw, nonsense, do you know the position and height of the Sea God Pavilion in the entire continent? You are a peerless talent and deserve this position. After speaking, Moon walked out and lay on the lounge chair placed at the innermost main seat of the long table in the hall. His waist was not good, so he liked to lie down. Mu En is also very helpless. Looking at Dolua Continent, how many soul masters want to enter the Sea God Pavilion without qualification, and how many people want to worship themselves as teachers? Moreover, it seems that he is not willing to give the position of the Holy Son of the Sea God Pavilion to this kid, even though he is a disciple passed down personally and has broken down. Mu En's appearance instantly quieted down the hall. Even Xian Lao put down his wine gourd and chicken legs, and his greasy palm rubbed against his clothes, 
causing his body to sit relatively straight. The other Shrek Academy residents and members of the Sea God Pavilion also straightened up a bit. Xiaoja, have everyone arrived yet? Moon's gentle voice sounded. Yen Xiaoja, currently the dean of the Martial Soul Department at Shrek College, can only sit at the end or left in the Sea God Pavilion meeting. Upon hearing Moon's words, he respectfully stood up, bowed to the throne, and replied. Teacher, due to the urgency of the meeting, there was an elderly resident who was still out of town and couldn't come back in time. Lucien was undergoing training, and the other members were already in place. After the meeting, we will inform the elderly resident of all the content, which will not affect the convening of the meeting. Well, that's good. Muen's face was neither surprised nor happy, completely unlike the intimacy and enthusiasm he had with Su Qingfeng. He said calmly. Members and elders of the Sea God Pavilion, I know you are all curious. I suddenly notified you to convene a meeting of the Sea God Pavilion for what purpose? This matter, whether it's big or small, I want to establish the position of the Holy Son of the Sea God Pavilion. Mun spoke in a very plain tone and said something that surprised all the elderly residents. With just one word, everyone in the room was shocked. Even Yen Xiaoja, who has always respected Mu An, showed a strange expression on his face. Teacher, you're joking, aren't you? Yes, since its establishment, the Sea God Pavilion has not established a holy son, and what is the significance of establishing a holy son? An elderly resident also agreed. Xian Liner had a rather irritable temper and patted the table, saying, only evil forces would establish any holy children, such as the Holy Spirit cult in the Sun and Moon continent. History has also told us that when the first generation of Shrek Seven Monsters still existed, there were also holy women in the Martial Soul Hall, so the outcome was very tragic. Our Shrek Academy prioritizes strength and character as its primary elements, and the Sea God Pavilion is the core of Shrek Academy. The establishment of the Holy Sun will inevitably become a model and goal for everyone, but there is no eternal first place. Once this Holy Sun falls from the altar, should he be replaced? Moreover, what are the current candidates for the Holy Sun? Is it Lu Xian or Xiao Tao? The old man sitting in the front seat, known as Mr. Lin by everyone, spoke up. Lin's opinion was highly recognized by everyone, and they couldn't help but nod in agreement. All right, I'm here to inform you, not to discuss with you. Ching Feng, come out and meet all the elders. If anyone dares to bully you in the future, you can ask them for help. If they dare to turn a blind eye, hum. Moon glanced at the crowd calmly, their words were very reasonable, but I didn't listen. After listening to Muen's words, the faces of all the elderly residents are not very good. The cabinet leader is a bit overbearing and overbearing this time. The Poseidon Pavilion has never been the sole the final say. Otherwise, what's the significance of the Poseidon Pavilion meeting? Master, it's not good for you to act alone like this. Xuanzi also put away his leisurely appearance, and his expression became solemn. Yeah, we don't know who the candidate for the Holy Son is and what power he holds. This matter was established too urgently. I absolutely disagree without a complete system of regulations. Xian Liner turned her head and stood up. Others also began to persuade Moon. They thought it was something big that would affect the entire continent, such as the upcoming super beast tide guided by soul beasts with hundreds of thousands of years of cultivation, or the comeback of the Sun and Moon Empire trying to break the balance of the continent, but they didn't expect it to be family matters. Just as they were arguing, Su Qingfeng slowly walked out from behind the curtain. Everyone seemed to hear some kind of gentle breeze blowing from the space, with flying maple leaves falling slowly from the sky, and a sacred starlight and immortal aura drifting. Everyone's gaze was immediately drawn away, and the conference hall of the Sea God Pavilion suddenly became silent. By the way, this is my new disciple, who will also be the holy son of the Sea God Pavilion, Su Qingfeng. Do you have any further opinions, everyone? Mu En was stunned when he saw Su Qingfeng and his members, and was very satisfied with the effect. 
A few days ago, when he first met Su Ching Fong, he was also amazed by his appearance, temperament, and natural image of the Divine Son and Holy Son. At first glance, he was gifted beyond ordinary people. No, I have no objections. On the contrary, I believe that the decision of the cabinet owner is actually very wise. This child. At first glance, he has unparalleled talent. As soon as Su Qin Feng appeared, the members of the Sea God Pavilion and the elders changed their attitudes one after another. Even those who were titled Dolua would be deeply attracted by his spirit of banishing immortals. Xian Liner stared blankly and walked toward Su Qin Feng with her eyes lit up. Child, how old are you? Are you interested in learning soul guides? A handsome young man, with a divine aura, his martial soul should be very powerful, right? Liner, what are you doing? Don't move your manual feet, don't touch them randomly. Qian Duo Duo watched as Xian Liner's claws touched Su Qingfeng's body, with black lines on his face. They were at least a nominal couple. Xian Lao also stood up and looked curiously at Su Qingfeng, Master Gu, where did you find such a scarce young man? You already have Xiaoja, and I don't have many apprentices yet. How about giving him to me? Moon chuckled and said, Are you dreaming? The other elderly residents also gathered around Su Qingfeng to watch. Su Qingfeng pursed her lips and became impatient. Am I a monkey in the zoo? If there's nothing else, then I'll leave first. Su Qingfeng felt a bit helpless. The elders of the Sea God Pavilion were all like wolves seeing sheep. Why are they all so vulgar? Isn't it just that I'm a bit good dot looking? What's the big deal? Sigh, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Awakening the Ultimate Martial Soul, Born in the Immortal Realm You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Chapter 3 Awakening the Ultimate Martial Soul, Born in the Immortal Realm All right, all of you calm down and return to your seats. Qing Feng is my personal disciple and will also be the holy son of the Sea God Pavilion in the future. Whoever wants to compete with me will have to step on the body of the old man. As you can see, Qing Feng's bones are amazing. At first glance, it looks like a heavenly and human being, maybe it's like a fairy deity descending to the mortal world with the posture of becoming a god. It's not a problem for us to be the holy son of the sea god pavilion, right? Qing Feng, although you are handsome, unparalleled in the world, and can be capricious, it is best for you to be humble, after all, those present are all the elders and deans of our Shrek Academy. With this opportunity, you should also get to know them. Perhaps in your future martial soul cultivation, they can also help you in the conference hall of the sea god pavilion, Moon softened the atmosphere and said. Oh. Su Qing Feng nodded lightly and stood next to Moon. Coming to the Dolua continent, he didn't have much ambition. He worked hard to become stronger, and the entire Tang San family, he had already become a divine king that could not be defeated. It seems that one can only be a handsome and despicable saint, living a simple and unadorned life like this. The elders and members of the Sea God Pavilion all nodded as they saw Su Qing Feng and liked him more. This child has unparalleled talent. If only I could accept such an apprentice, it would be pleasing to the eye. This is their voice. Since everyone has no objections, let's wait for the new student's opening ceremony to announce the matter of the Holy Son of the Sea God Pavilion together. What do you think? Agree. Agree. Agree, the students at Shrek College also need a representative to lead them. Qing Feng is very suitable. Cough, it's time to call him the Holy Son. Everyone present agreed and their attitude underwent a 180 degree reversal. Yan Xiaozhe came up and patted Su Qingfeng's shoulder, his eyes very gentle and caring. Welcome to join the Sea God Pavilion. Junior brother, can we take a look at your martial soul? With your extraordinary demeanor, you must be a top dot level martial soul. Yes, yes, I don't know what the Holy Son's martial soul is. The members of the Sea God Pavilion looked eagerly at Su Qingfeng. There are two types of ordinary handsome guys. 
One is the stunning type, which looks very good at first glance and feels nothing after looking for a long time. There is also the durable type, which looks ordinary at first glance, but the more you look, the more handsome you become, and the more you like it. And this young man, the more he looks, the more worldly and handsome he becomes, making it impossible to get tired of him. Su Qingfeng looked helpless and said, Actually. I don't know what my martial soul is either. You have just passed away. Not long after crossing over, you were brought back to Shrek Academy by Moon. Where did you get the time to awaken your martial soul? Mu En said he is talented and has unparalleled abilities. In fact, Su Qingfeng is extremely anxious. In fact, I am just a useless person who has not even awakened my martial soul. I don't even know how many levels of innate soul power I have. On the Dolua continent, soul master is the most noble profession, and only with a martial soul can one become a soul master. A person like Su Qingfeng, who is twelve years old and doesn't have a martial soul, can basically only work as a commoner to farm. Oh no, even commoners are not as good as commoners. Commoners usually have martial souls, but they are just trash martial souls. What? No martial soul. Upon hearing this, Xian Liner stood up and exclaimed in surprise. At the same time, the other elders of the Sea God Pavilion also looked at each other, how can the Holy Son of the Sea God Pavilion do without a martial soul? Who, on earth, killed a thousand swords and dared not awaken the martial soul of our Holy Son from the Sea God Pavilion? Don't let me find out, otherwise we will definitely be punished severely. Come, Ching Feng, awaken your martial soul. Even if your martial soul is not good, it's okay. Come to our soul guidance department, and my sister will definitely teach you hand to hand, making you a powerful high dot level soul mentor. At the next moment, Xian Liner left her seat, ready to personally awaken her martial soul for Su Qing Feng. Come on, be good, give your hand to sister, sister will teach you how to awaken your martial soul. Xian Liner's fair hand grasped Su Qing Feng's hand, as if she had grasped the whole world. Qian Duo Duo blew his nose and glared. He said, why haven't you taken the initiative to us? You can even be a his mother at your age. I can't stand it. Don't worry, Xian Liner glanced at the extra money for nothing. Xian Din, let me do it, Yan Xiaozhe smiled and forcefully broke Xian Liner's hand open. The old man sitting opposite Xian Liner also said at this moment, Liner, if you mess around again, you can get out of here. Xian Liner reluctantly returned to her seat and settled down a bit. However, Lord Gu, is this young man who has not yet awakened his martial soul really suitable to be the first saint of our Sea God Pavilion? The Sea God Pavilion is the most core institution of Shrek Academy. Our Holy Son, not to mention Lu Xian and Xiao Tao, cannot at least lose to the Holy Spirit's Holy Son, can we? If the talent of a soul master cannot conquer others, even if his temperament is unparalleled and his appearance is stunning, he is not suitable for establishing the position of the Holy Son for him, and it may actually bring trouble to him. Some elderly residents of the Sea God Pavilion gradually regained their senses. Although Su Qing Feng was very handsome, it made them feel as if they had returned to that age of vigor, as if they had seen a celestial being. However, without talent, standing in that position would be very dangerous. Xiao Zhe, let Qing Feng awaken his martial soul and use facts to prove to the elders. I, the dragon god Dolua, and Mu En, won't take my eyes off me. At this moment, Moon, lying on the recliner, said calmly. Obey me. The dean of the martial soul department, who holds a significant influence in the soul master world and is respected by students throughout the entire college, respectfully presented himself in front of Moon. Junior brother, although I don't know why you haven't awakened your martial soul, and whether your awakened martial soul is strong or not, as the senior brother, I will protect you. Yen Xiaozhe said gently. Speaking of which, besides himself, the teacher had never received any other personally transmitted disciples in his life. He didn't expect that this time he went out to play, he would bring back a junior brother who looked like a divine son and an exiled immortal. 
how could he be unhappy? Junior brother, don't resist my power. I will guide you to perceive your martial soul and won't harm you. Yen Xiaozhe's two fingers met and pointed toward Su Qingfeng's eyebrows, his soul power communicating with Su Qingfeng through his fingers. Hmm. Dolua continent has gone through thousands of years of development and has long been separated from the primitive world of soul masters, especially the strong ones in the Sea God Pavilion, who do not need the assistance of martial soul crystal balls and can also help awaken their martial souls. Junior brother, your martial soul. Yen Xiaozhe's eyes suddenly burst into a dazzling light like all the stars in the starry sky, and his consciousness entered Su Qingfeng's spiritual sea. In the sea of Su Qingfeng's spirit, a peerless figure of a young man floated there, with countless stars shining behind him. It was profound and brilliant, shining on the young man, perfectly highlighting his handsome face. On the young man's body, there was also a realm that covered the space, making the surroundings look roughly white. Dragons, phoenixes, and cranes danced and circled around him, and from time to time, golden and silver petals slowly scattered, making him look like a banished immortal falling from the depths of the starry sky. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Possibilities of Possessing Nine Ultimate Attribute Powers You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Possibilities of Possessing Nine Ultimate Attribute Powers Stupid Yen Xiaozhe was deeply immersed in the sea of Su Qingfeng's spirit and couldn't extricate himself for a moment. That scene is so beautiful. Xiaozhe. With the sound of moon falling, there seemed to be a spiritual shock in his voice, which made Yen Xiaozhe sober up. The members of the Sea God Pavilion eagerly asked. How is it? Have you seen his martial soul? What is it? Teacher, all the elders and junior brothers' martial souls have never been seen before, nor have they appeared in the history since the birth of martial souls. Yen Xiaozhe stared solemnly and said, Junior brother, have you sensed it? Show your martial soul and realm to the elders. Everyone's gaze was focused on Su Qingfeng. Even super powerhouses like Xian Lao and Lin Lao were focused on watching Su Qingfeng. At the moment when Yen Xiaozhe awakened his martial soul for Su Qingfeng, they also sensed something incredible from Su Qingfeng. At this moment, a gentle breeze had already risen beside Su Qingfeng, and the entire conference hall of the Sea God Pavilion seemed to be filled with sounds from the deep sky. The scene behind him turned into pitch black, as deep as the vast sky shrouded in dark clouds at night. In the next moment, a celestial star shining with white light appeared in the pitch black, extremely dazzling, as if inspired by the stars. Eight celestial stars shone one after another, forever shining in the starry sky. The nine celestial stars moved the starry sky, causing countless twinkling stars to shine on Su Qingfeng's body, making him look like a god walking out of the other side of the starry sky. Then, under Su Qingfeng's feet, a fairy-like realm appeared, resembling a fairyland in the sky. This is almost consistent with what Yan Xiaozhe saw in his spiritual sea. In an instant, everyone in the conference hall of the Sea God Pavilion stood up. Even the usually carefree and carefree Xian Lao stared at Su Qingfeng in a daze. Transcendent Martial Soul Absolute Transcendent Martial Soul The Soul Masters present either possess top-notch martial souls or top-notch soul guides, such as the Bright Holy Dragon, the Ferocious Beast Gluttony, and life healing but at this moment, they were all looking up at Su Qingfeng's martial soul and realm, feeling ashamed of themselves under that radiance. This is my martial soul and the realm. A wave of martial soul and domain information flooded into Su Qingfeng's mind, giving him a certain degree of understanding of his martial soul and domain. Mu En enjoyed the surprised gazes of all the elders. In fact, he had already recognized Su Qingfeng's extraordinary qualities. This was his precious disciple, and he felt that he had no regrets in his life after accepting this disciple. He no longer needed to accept disciples in the future. Where else can I find a disciple who is even better than Qingfeng? Does it exist? Not present. However, 
In order to see clearly Chu Su Qingfen's martial soul and realm, even Mu En's waist straightened up at this moment. Innate soul power, transcendent martial soul. What kind of martial soul and realm is this? It's unbelievable, Lin couldn't help but ask. The ultimate star, also known as the extreme star, has a legendary name in that field. Exile the mortal, dot. Yen Xiaozhe just came into contact with information about Su Qingfeng's martial soul and realm in his spiritual sea, and spoke it out, making the elderly and members of the Sea God Pavilion present take a deep breath. As for the specific effects and attributes of the extreme star and banished immortal realm, let me leave it to Junior Brother himself. I'm also a bit uncertain. It's not so much uncertain, let alone unbelievable. In Su Qingfeng's spiritual sea, Yan Xiaozhe sensed a power that could accommodate all attributes, as if even his martial soul, the bright phoenix, was jumping with joy, wanting to merge with the stars in his spiritual sea. At that moment, he completely understood how incredible his talent as a junior apprentice was. No wonder the teacher made an exception for him, breaking the tradition of the Sea God Pavilion. Even if an emergency meeting of the Sea God Pavilion was held, Su Qingfeng would be appointed as the Holy Son. In the realm of banished immortals, Su Qingfeng's temperament will be perfectly immortal, his physique will be divine, his visual appearance will increase by 100%, the appearance and temperament of sentient beings will decrease by 30%, and the strength of sentient beings will decrease by 30%. Moreover, this field is a companion, perfectly combined with Su Qingfeng. With every move and gesture, it can trigger the banished immortal field, almost without consuming soul power. This is the first time such a strange field has appeared on the mainland, and the elders of the Sea God Pavilion are all amazed by it. But most of what the banished immortal realm brought to Su Qing Feng was an extraordinary and refined temperament, and the visual effect was explosive. And the Polar Star Martial Soul is shocking to everyone. The Polar Star Martial Soul initially has nine original inactive Polar Stars, corresponding to the Soul Master's nine realm bottlenecks. Each time a bottleneck is broken, one of the celestial stars awakens, and the absorbed soul rings will directly attach exclusive attribute strength to this celestial star. The quality of the elements can evolve and be cultivated to the extreme, also known as the ultimate celestial star. After learning about Su Qingfeng's martial soul information, all members turned positive, even Mu En changed from lying down to sitting. Xian Lao was also very excited in his heart. As soon as he was excited, he wanted to eat. He took out a big chicken leg from his pocket and ate it three times, five out of two. There were no bones left, not even like an old man's mouth. He immediately said. I didn't hear it wrong, did I, master? Xiao Zhe. This child's martial soul is a star in the sky, and it can evolve into the ultimate attribute, which is nine types. Are you sure? This is not only a confusion for Xianlao alone, but also a question for other residents and members of the Sea God Pavilion. The ultimate attribute represents the ultimate strength and is also the strongest talent among its attributes, making it a rare and unparalleled genius in a thousand years. A soul master with one ultimate attribute is worth holding a meeting of the Sea God Pavilion, let alone nine. If that's really the case, then the Lord of the Pavilion really has foresight. If Qing Feng can grow up, he will definitely become the strongest on the mainland, one of them. That's right, the ultimate martial soul is extremely rare. Even the first generation of Shrek's seven monsters and the founder of the Tang clan, Tang San Ancestor, did not have an ultimate attribute. In the 10,000-year history of our Shrek Academy, the ultimate attribute has only appeared three times, namely the ultimate wind, the ultimate fire, and the ultimate wood. Those three ultimate attribute owners were once famous on the mainland. Among them, the most famous one is the owner of the ultimate fire. It was under his leadership that our three kingdoms, which originally belonged to the Dolua continent, finally defeated the Sun and Moon Empire. He later also had a powerful family, but his descendants inherited his martial soul, but the word ultimate was also missing, however, I am more concerned about Qingfeng's body. 
Our human bodies find it difficult to withstand the ultimate strength, which can easily directly support the body of the soul blaster. If it weren't for his innate talent, it would be impossible for him to sustain it, let alone his nine ultimate powers. Xian Liner stood up and looked at Su Qingfeng with pity. Perhaps what I mean is, can all nine soul rings of Qingfeng absorb the power of the same attribute? He only needs to withstand the power of one ultimate attribute. But in this way, isn't it a waste of the utility of this transcendent martial soul? How powerful a soul master with nine ultimate powers should be. I am curious and looking forward to it. I am willing to use my life to cultivate such a peerless genius. Lin Lao also stood up and excitedly said, they had a debate about Su Qingfeng's martial soul cultivation method. It is obvious that they all have no objection to Su Qingfeng becoming the Holy Son, and are thinking that having such a genius will lead Shrek College to a new glory. An ultimate attribute has been rare for thousands of years, invincible for a lifetime. If Su Qingfeng could grow up, wouldn't it be invincible in the world? Xian Lao frowned and spoke, the power of those with ultimate attributes is recognized, but their cultivation speed is slower than that of ordinary soul masters. If there are nine ultimate attributes, how slow is the improvement of soul power? End of this chapter Chapter 5 Ma Xiaodao's Evil Fire Outbreak You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Ma Xiaodao's Evil Fire Outbreak All right, that's all for today. I have already planned on the direction of Qingfeng's cultivation, so you don't have to worry too much. The content of this Sea God Pavilion meeting will be included in the top secret archives, especially the development of the nine ultimate attributes of Qingfeng Martial Soul. It is absolutely not allowed to be disclosed, otherwise it will be severely punished according to the regulations of the pavilion. Do you understand? Moon slowly stood up and interrupted everyone's discussion. This is my own disciple, how can I practice and why should I listen to them? Ching Feng, follow me. Xiaoja, you also come. Mu En left the hall of the Sea God Pavilion with Su Ching Feng, and Yen Xiaoja followed closely behind. Sea God Island, by the lake. Mu En, Yen Xiaoja, and Su Ching Feng slowly walked along the path swaying with willow shade. Yen Xiaoja followed Mu En's right back hand and said. The teacher's resolute decision to appoint my junior apprentice as the first saint of the Sea God Pavilion may have some objections from the elders. After all, before this, everyone had a higher opinion of Le Xuan, and she was also adopted by you. To be honest, Yen Xiaoja greatly admires Mu En in this regard. It seems that teachers always discover geniuses. Previously, there was Zhang Lishuan, and now there is Su Qingfeng, both of whom have achieved remarkable success after awakening their martial souls. Moreover, my junior brother has such a high appearance and is extraordinary. When we hold the Sea God Lake Blind Date Conference, I don't know how many students will cause a sensation and admiration. Yen Xiaoja could foresee that the scene must be spectacular. Le Xuan. This girl's talent is indeed very good and worth cultivating. However, I still prefer the child Qing Feng. The first time I saw him, I felt that I had a good eye connection with him. When I was young, I was just as handsome as him, his, so handsome. Don't worry, when Le Xuan comes back, she will also agree with my decision after getting to know Qing Feng. Le Xuan is not a jealous child and should be willing to assist Qing Feng. Mu En choked his tongue and said that he was extremely satisfied with Su Qingfeng. Even his own son did not receive such treatment. Um. Okay, but my martial soul is still appearing for the first time. What do you plan on, teacher? Yen Xiaoja asked. A gentle breeze blows on the Sea God Lake, white mist floats, and the lake surface is very blue, like a pure giant sapphire. Su Qingfeng walked on such a shore, like a beautiful young man walking in the peach blossom land, with every move carrying a beautiful and dreamy feeling. If it were you, Xiaoja, who possessed the martial soul of Qingfeng, how would you cultivate it? Of course, it's a fight. 
with the protection of the Sea God Pavilion, resources and manpower are not a problem. Cultivate slowly, and if you can create achievements with nine ultimate attributes, it will definitely be recorded in the history of soul masters on the entire continent. Yen Xiaoja blurted out without hesitation. When he said it, he himself was also stunned. Yes, when we were in the conference hall of the Sea God Pavilion just now, everyone was considering the opinions of onlookers and the interests of the Sea God Pavilion. But if they were to choose for themselves, would they choose to only cultivate one ultimate attribute? The answer is certainly negative. They already know how powerful a soul master with ultimate attributes can be and where they can go. But Nine Moon didn't speak, and the result was self-evident. Junior brother is born with full soul power, which is amazing, but he is almost twelve years old. The faster he absorbs the first soul ring, the better. Teacher, do you think what is the best attribute for junior brother to absorb? Walking on the wooden path by the lake on Haishan Island, Yen Xiaoja asked. Mu En looked at Su Qingfeng, whose face was still calm, and increasingly felt that this kid was interesting. In theory, anyone who sees a strong person like him will be deeply worshipped, and they will also be timid when facing the elderly residents of the Sea God Pavilion. But Su Qingfeng, the destitute young man he brought back from the desert, was incredibly calm in the face of all this. It was like this on the way back to Shrek College. At first, Moon thought it was this kid who didn't know his identity. He also pretended to be reserved and poised. On the way, there were also people who were obsessed with Su Qingfeng's appearance and wanted to take him back as a male pet or something. Mu En directly captured a few soul emperors and soul saints, shocking everyone and ultimately revealing his identity as the dragon god Doluo. Su Qingfeng was only shocked at the beginning, but then returned to mediocrity. Even after knowing that he was the dragon god Doluo, one of the strongest people on the mainland, Su Qingfeng remained calm. Perhaps this is his temperament. Love disciple, what do you want for your first attribute? Mu En asked Su Qingfeng. Can I choose? Su Qingfeng said lightly. Mu En said seriously, of course. Your teacher and I are dragon god Doluo Mu En. 99% of the soul beasts on the mainland are not a problem. And what about 0.1%? Hee hee, there is always a strong hand in a strong situation. We can't be too absolute in our words, but your teacher and I have unquestionable strength. Looking at Moon's doting and pleasing gaze and expression, Yen Xiaoja became numb. Teacher, you are the leader of Shrek's highest supervision team and the lord of the Sea God Pavilion. Extreme Dolua at level 99. Back then, when the teacher cultivated herself and Lushien, there was not such thoughtfulness. There was only one principle, which was. Just keep it alive. Okay, what elements and attributes are there for me to choose from? Su Qingfeng said calmly, as the matter had come to an end, he could only reluctantly accept his identity as the holy son of the Sea God Pavilion and the disciple of Muen. Strive to become stronger and protect yourself, don't become a dog of the Tang God King. If Su Qingfeng's ideas are known to others, he may have to vomit blood out of other people's hearts. It seems that he still reluctantly accepts things that others dream of not getting. Mu En gestured to Yen Xiaoja, who then spoke gently. According to the existing attributes, theoretically there are main attributes such as gold, wood, ice, fire, earth, wind, thunder, light, darkness, and space. However, apart from wood, fire, and wind, we have not found any other attributes that have reached the ultimate level. If we choose the first attribute from wood, fire, and wind, it would be best in theory, because with stones from other mountains, we can learn from them, which is more convenient for cultivation. Yen Xiaoja paused for a moment and then continued. However, I would like to request the teacher and junior brother that the first attribute is the ability to absorb ice. Speaking of which, Yen Xiaoja respectfully bowed to Mu En and Su Qingfeng. He was the dean of the martial soul department at Shrek Academy and also Su Qingfeng's senior brother. He saluted him, 
and it can be imagined that this matter was very important to him. Are you doing it for that child? Mu En stared at Yen Xiaozhe. Su Qingfeng also felt lost in thought. If he remembered correctly, Master Yen Xiaozhe seemed to have a disciple who was entangled in evil fire. At this moment, on the other side of Haishan Island, a red figure appeared running wildly, carrying a terrifying heat that instantly swept over, causing the surrounding air to become irritable. Ah 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 ah, I can't stand it. I'm so hot, who can go and get rid of the fire for me? End of this chapter Chapter 6 Yen Xiaozhe's Request You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Yen Xiaozhe's Request, Xiaotao did your evil fire explode again? Hidden in the red figure is a beautiful girl with a graceful figure, possessing a pair of fiery wings. Six soul rings appear on her body, and her eyes are filled with evil flames, as if she has lost her sanity. She saw three figures here from a distance, somewhat familiar, but only by getting closer did she see their figures clearly. One of the unfamiliar teenagers had an extraordinary and ethereal temperament, and looking only at his profile, he felt like a shining star falling from the sky. In an instant, her heart jumped violently, feeling like she was in love, with a little deer pounding in her heart then she lost control of her evil fire. With a buzzing sound, the target headed straight for Su Qingfeng. With another loud bang. A golden object seemed to appear on Yen Xiaozhe's body, causing him to burst out with terrifying soul power and directly suppress the fiery red figure. Magnificent soul power swirled around her, slowly suppressing the evil fire. Su Qingfeng blinked and was startled by the power of Yen Xiaozhe. Although he knows that this senior brother has strong strength and is not simple, he will still be shocked by the power of these top soul masters up close. That is, after all, a mystical force that does not exist on earth and is not scientific. Ching Feng, don't be surprised. That was just a part of your senior brother's soul core power. When you reach the title Dolua, you usually have this thing. With your talent, you will also develop soul cores in the future, and the quality will definitely be higher than your senior brother's. Mu En patted Su Ching Feng's shoulder and said calmly. This kind of height that can teach Su Qing Feng everything is really refreshing. Kid. Worship the teacher in your heart. Fortunately, I became my disciple. Su Qing Feng didn't speak, but he had a certain understanding of soul core in his heart. Soul master is divided into ten major realms from level 0 0.99. Soul master, soul master, great soul master, soul zun, soul sect, Soul King, Soul Emperor, Soul Saint, Soul Dolua, and Title Dolua. Ten thousand years ago, the Title Dolua did not have a Soul Core. However, with the development and improvement of the Soul Master system, the spiritual cultivation of Soul Masters has increased. Today, thousands of years later, one of the standards for honoring Dolua is to condense the Soul Core into shape. Although Soul Core cannot significantly increase the cultivation of Soul Master, it can accelerate the flow and recovery of Soul Master's Soul Power. After helping the girl stabilize her evil fire state, Yen Xiaozhe turned around and said in a deep voice to Su Qingfeng. Junior brother, you have also seen it. To be honest, this child's name is Ma Xiaotao and she is my student. Her ancestors were not outsiders, but rather one of the first Shrek 7 monsters of our Shrek Academy, the descendant of the evil fire phoenix Ma Hongjun. She has a very powerful evil fire phoenix martial soul. If she can restrain the erosion of evil fire, she will be the first genius in the Academy's century-long history. Of course, this is before you come in, junior brother. However, it is not easy to restrain the evil fire. If the evil fire erupts, it will make her power go berserk, lose her mind, and be very dangerous. During the abnormal movement of the evil fire, she may not even be able to practice steadily. At first, I could use my soul power to help her suppress the evil fire and put her into a state of soul master cultivation, but this ultimately treated the symptoms rather than the root cause. As her realm improved, the evil fire invaded her whole body, 
and even overwhelming soul power gradually did not have a good effect. Over time, it even caused irreversible damage to her. There is only one way to solve this problem. If there is an owner of the ultimate ice attribute martial soul, who is still male, and becomes partners with each other, it can resolve the negative impact of the evil fire phoenix martial soul in Shadow's body. Only then can she truly soar into the sky in the future. After Yen Xiaozhe finished speaking, he looked at Su Qingfeng with a serious expression on his face. Su Qingfeng nodded thoughtfully and said, Indeed, Ma Hongjun has also been troubled by evil fire. He has done animal affairs and even forced others to do it for him. He is an shameless person. Little junior brother, how do you know about this? Qing Feng, although you look handsome, how can you criticize Shrek's ancestors, or even insult them? Upon hearing Su Qingfeng's words, both Mu En and Yen Xiaozhe's faces changed. If it were someone else, they would have slapped each other away long ago. But seeing Su Qingfeng cursing so lightly and handsome, Mu En and Yen Xiaozhe both softened their hearts. Let's not do it again, Qing Feng. You should know that the first generation of Shrek's seven monsters and the teacher are our Shrek beliefs. Don't believe those unofficial histories. Without them, there would be no teacher today. Everything would be different, be good, yes, junior brother. The teacher is right. Yen Xiaozhe agreed, so, junior brother, do you want a wife? If you agree to absorb the ice element attribute of cultivation, then you and Xiao Tao would be a perfect match. Yen Xiaozhe looked at Su Qingfeng eagerly and happily, which was a great joy. The Sea God Pavilion will welcome two transcendent geniuses. And it's still a couple stage. Coincidentally, at this moment, Ma Xiao Tao woke up in a daze and heard Yen Xiaozhe's words again. The next moment, her eyes slowly opened and Su Qingfeng's unparalleled face was vaguely reflected in her eyes. In an instant, a layer of abnormal blush appeared on Ma Xiaodao's pretty face, and her pale pink eyes were also covered with a layer of mist. Old. Teacher. Oh my god, what is he talking about, teacher? Good match. Ice element. This. Is the teacher looking for a husband for herself? To be honest, I used to hate things like getting married through fingertips, but now it seems like I'm willing to accept it. Short oil, I'm so embarrassed. Handsome, it's really too handsome. Just as the evil fire inside her body was suppressed, Ma Xiao Tao couldn't help but glance at Su Qingfeng multiple times, deeply attracted by the exiled immortal temperament. Su Qingfeng felt a little helpless and said, I was just casually talking, and I'm still young. It's not appropriate to find a spouse so early, right? I just arrived, why did you send me a wife? Still a wife with a hot temper, already a strong soul emperor and troubled by evil fire, can her small body and bones withstand it? Yes, senior brother almost forgot. Ching Feng, your bone age is not yet twelve years old, and it is indeed not the age for marriage. It is because senior brother did not consider it carefully. Yen Xiaozhe nodded and said, Moreover, I should have asked Xiao Tao for her opinion on this matter first. It's because I was too impulsive. Teacher, Lord. I am willing. As soon as Yen Xiaozhe finished speaking, Ma Xiao Tao jumped up from under the willow tree by the lake and quickly said. For a moment, the scene fell silent. Moon smiled silently. Su Qingfeng's face was heavy. Yen Xiaozhe was stunned for a moment. Lie down, this child, has heard everything. All right, Xiao Tao, come here and let me introduce you. This is my junior brother, Su Qing Feng, who is a newly recruited disciple of your ancestor. Yen Xiaozhe introduced that he never expected Xiao Tao to become so fast. Do you remember, this girl used to say that she didn't want to get married? let alone marry someone she didn't like for the sake of her martial soul well, it's also reasonable. After all, how could she not like a peerless teenager like junior brother? Hello. My name is Ma Xiao Tao. Ma Xiao Tao reached out her hands and held on to Su Qingfeng's hand like a precious gem, 
her body burning hot as if she was about to melt Su Qingfeng. At close range, she could see every facial feature of Su Qingfeng clearly. His eyes, nose, lips. Were all so perfect. How could there be such a handsome young man on the mainland? Oh my! End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Going to the Far North You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Going to the Far North the next morning The golden sunlight shines through the mist rising from the lake, refracting onto the island of Poseidon and shining on the lush plants. Su Qingfeng was arranged to live in a courtyard on Haishan Island. The house is a two-dot-story attic built of millennium-old silver wood, which is not corroded by rainwater and is very hard, shining with silver light in the sunlight. Next door is one of Moon's residences, of the same specifications. This kind of courtyard was originally only allocated to the elders and excellent members of the Sea God Pavilion, but as the holy son of the Sea God Pavilion, Moon also helped Su Qingfeng with such a courtyard. Early in the morning, a person came to Su Qingfeng's yard. That person is Ma Xiaotao. Yesterday, Su Qingfeng awakened to the polar star martial soul and the realm of banished immortals. With the help of Master Yan Xiaoja, he met Ma Xiaotao, who possessed the evil fire phoenix martial soul. Ma Xiaotao almost fell in love with Su Qingfeng at first sight, especially after knowing that he could cultivate ice attribute martial souls, he spent the whole night pestering Yan Xiaoja to inquire about Su Qingfeng. Finally, I found out that Su Qingfeng has the possibility of cultivating top-dot-level ice element power, which can even be used to alleviate the evil fire in her body. From that moment on, Ma Xiaotao couldn't bear it anymore. Before dawn, I woke up to make breakfast and enthusiastically arrived at Su Qingfeng's yard. I sat in the pavilion waiting, just to catch a glimpse of Su Qingfeng again. The sunlight shone into the windowsill, and Su Qingfeng woke up. She rubbed her eyes, tidied up her clothes, opened the door, and slowly walked out. The radiance shone on his lazy face, like a fairy stretching out a lazy waist. The vegetation on Haishan Island is lush, with many plants that have grown for hundreds or even thousands of years. The trees are towering for hundreds of meters, and the flowers bloom year dot round without withering, making it look like a paradise. Pink and white flowers fall from the sky, and the flowers and plants sway for him, causing birds and animals to sing like dreams. Su Qingfeng washed her clothes in a daze before realizing that Ma Xiaotao was looking at her with peach blossom eyes affectionately. In an instant, Su Qingfeng became distressed. How did you get in? He closed the gate of the courtyard. He he, it flew in. Ma Xiaotao smiled. Ah. Uh, I mean no harm. I know that you just came to Haishan Pavilion and may not be able to cook, nor do you know where to eat. I'm afraid you are hungry, so I made you cakes and kanji. Ma Xiaotao opened the box where the food was kept and brought out a pot of steaming kanji and a dish of beautiful cakes. The fragrance quickly enveloped the yard. Eat it. Ma Xiaotao crossed her legs and held her blushing face, looking at Su Qingfeng. She can't get tired of this face no matter how she looks at it. Every time I see him, I feel an inexplicable restlessness in my heart. The teacher told her that although Su Qingfeng has the possibility of suppressing her evil fire, he is the teacher's junior brother and cannot be forced to practice the ice series, nor can he be forced to marry her. So, emotional cultivation still relies on Ma Xiaotao's own efforts. Su Qingfeng sat calmly across from Ma Xiaotao. He was a bit hungry and took a few bites with a golden spoon. It looks good, but the taste is not satisfactory. Ma Xiaotao asked eagerly, how is it? Is it delicious? Su Qingfeng could only politely nod and reluctantly swallow, it's okay. Heart. Damn it, there seems to be something undercooked. Born. Did you cook things from the soul master realm as ordinary food? As long as you like to eat, I can cook for you every day in the future. I went back to read a book last night, and if you want to catch a man's heart, you need to first catch his feed. Ma Xiaotao happily said, in fact, 
before today, she didn't know how to cook, she just went back last night to learn on a temporary basis. Let's just take this kanji. She cooked it twice, once without the ingredients and boiled the water dry, and once without the main ingredients. For the fifth time, I summed up the lesson and made kanji and pastry that could barely be seen. After decoration and processing, I finally finished the breakfast that was barely presented in Su Qingfeng at this time. However, it should be said that although Moon is kind to himself, he is not very good at taking care of others. On the way back to Shrek College, he often goes hungry. The reason is very simple. Strong people like Moon, except for the special cases of gluttonous martial souls and cultivation like Xian Lao, no longer need to eat frequently, and are simply occasionally satisfying their cravings. But Su Qing Feng, although he may seem like an unparalleled exiled immortal, is actually just an ordinary person. I will be hungry. I need to go to the bathroom. Just eat it. Su Qing Feng comforted herself like this. Upon hearing this, Su Qing Feng felt somewhat helpless and said, What book are you reading? Ma Xiao Tao said straightforwardly, Hmm, I've seen a lot. How to be a good wife and mother, the flavors of men with different personalities, how to grasp men's hearts, how people with high appearance think about problems, dot. Wait a minute, not to mention some nutritious miscellaneous books you read, how did you manage to finish reading so many books in one night? Su Qing Feng was shocked. Is Dolua Continent a book on paper? It's very normal. Generally speaking, the higher the level of a soul master, the better their various physical functions, mental and memory abilities. I have already reached over 60 levels and can basically achieve 10 lines at a glance, and it's unforgettable. If you're in a hurry, it's not a problem to finish a 3 cm thick book in half an hour. Ma Xiao Tao said, reading. Isn't that a very simple thing? Otherwise, how can soul masters remember so many weaknesses and characteristics of soul beasts? After listening to Su Qing Feng, he was speechless. With this skill, isn't it a good idea to score high in the earth return exam? Okay. Su Qing Feng filled her stomach and said calmly, actually, you don't have to take care of me to suppress the evil fire, nor do you have to sacrifice your marriage for it. In terms of seniority, I am your junior uncle, and caring for the younger generation is what the elders should do. Therefore, I will first cultivate the ice attribute element, not only because it can suppress your evil fire, but also because the ice element's power is very powerful, with control and damage, no, 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 I also volunteered. Ma Xiao Tao was stunned and said, it feels so loving, junior uncle. All right, even though you're younger than me, I'll call you junior uncle in the future. You're so kind. It turns out you're considering me. I'm so happy. Su Qing Feng has always had a different temperament in his speech. However, under the gaze of a fan like Ma Xiao Tao, Su Qing Feng really couldn't bear it. The atmosphere was also too awkward in the early morning, it smells so good. I wonder if this old man has such a good appetite. Can he grab breakfast? At this moment, Moon also fell from the sky and landed in the courtyard, watching them with a faint smile. In an instant, Su Qing Feng felt that there seemed to be no need for this courtyard door to exist anymore, as it could all fly. Is there any privacy left for him, a young servant who has just awakened his martial soul, among this group of big shots? But I'm only the one who did it. Shizu. How about next time? Ma Xiao Tao stood up and didn't expect the pavilion master to also come. In fact, Mu En has been quite mysterious for decades. He is idle and doesn't like to take care of things. Even Ma Xiao Tao can't see him often, and now he follows Su Qing Feng every day. Red abalone yang worm kanji, ice jade blood cake, why didn't you hear Xiao Zhe say you have this skill before? It seems that I don't have a good taste. Moon said calmly. However, both of these foods are great supplements. Little girl, you have ulterior motives. Did you come in advance to give Qing Feng a strong and healthy body? Moon's words made the atmosphere on sight even more uncomfortable. 
After speaking, Mu En seemed to sense the charm of the atmosphere and quickly said to Su Qing Feng. Qing Feng, have you finished eating? Let's set off once we have finished eating. Where are you going? Ma Xiao Tao hesitated for a moment. Go to the far north. Moon said calmly, looking north. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Preferences of Major Elderly Guests, Beloved by the Sea God Pavilion Group You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Preferences of Major Elderly Guests, Beloved by the Sea God Pavilion Group It has been decided that Su Qingfeng's first celestial star will have an additional ice attribute. Mu En quickly personally took Su Qingfeng to the far north to hunt ice-type soul beasts. The extremely northern region is one of the three major gathering places for soul beasts on the mainland, with a cold and harsh climate, and the breeding of soul beasts has a single attribute, so it is also one of the forbidden areas for humans. That morning, Moon set off with Su Qingfeng. Ma Xiaotao was on the Sea God Island, showing concern and watching Su Qingfeng and the others leave. She really wants to go to the far north together. It's a forbidden area for humans, cold and cruel. It's so dangerous for me to go there, junior uncle. Ma Xiaotao sat on the willow tree on the shore of Haishan Island, gazing north, her mind full of. I don't know where little Marshall uncle and his team are now. How are you, junior uncle? How many years will little master choose for his first soul ring? With the talent of the young master, the first soul ring will take at least four to five hundred years, right? Since seeing Su Qing Feng, Ma Xiaodao's mind has been filled with that handsome and charming face, as well as what the teacher said at that time. Good match, suppressing evil fire, pure ice element, oh my goodness, is it that the innocent lord is watching us, first allowing me to endure hardships, endure the pain of evil fire, and then bestowing upon me a beautiful and bright future. Thank God, thank God, thank the God of Phoenix. Ma Xiao Tao prayed devoutly to her ancestors and suddenly realized in her heart. It is because of past difficulties that there will be happiness in the future. Wait, in the future. Why, the little peach I know is not a sentimental person. Sitting here alone, thinking about the breeze. Yen Xiaozhe walked out of the Sea God Pavilion and hurried along the lake shore, looking a bit disheveled. When he saw Ma Xiao Tao sitting on a century-old tree thinking something, he stopped and said with a faint smile. He had seen Ma Xiao Tao in such a state for the first time, looking somewhat sweet and happy, and occasionally frowning, as if he was worried and worried about something. Teacher, why did you come? Ma Xiao Tao jumped off the old tree inside, saying. Teacher, Uncle Xiao Xie has gone hunting soul beasts with Master Zhu, and it's going to the far north. It's so cold there. I don't know if Shizu has prepared warm clothes for little Marshall Uncle. What if he gets frostbite? Why doesn't Shizu let me go with him? I'm at least a strong six-ring soul emperor, and I also have evil fire. I can help you warm up your body and start a fire to cook some food. Xiao Tao, the teacher never dreamed that one day you would become such a virtuous wife and mother. You wouldn't really have fallen in love with that little junior brother of mine, would you? As an apprentice, my personality is actually quite irritable. If I don't agree with others, I will start a fight. It's unbelievable that I am so considerate of my junior apprentice now, even willing to start a fire and cook. Love. So this is love. Ma Xiaotao blushed, but she was not familiar with this thing. Yen Xiaozhe pursed his lips and remembered the unparalleled appearance of his junior apprentice, thinking that his disciple might also be motivated by his appearance. All right, you should practice well, otherwise how can you catch up with Lishuan? Junior Marshall Brothers should be away for at least ten days, and with your master taking him, there won't be anything wrong. Yen Xiaozhe comforted Ma Xiaotao. Ma Xiaotao nodded and then examined Yen Xiaozhe in surprise, saying, Teacher, why are you disheveled and looking so disheveled? At this point, Yen Xiaozhe also showed a bitter smile and was about to spit out his bitterness. Unexpectedly, two figures caught up. It was none other than Xian Liner, 
the Dean of the Soul Guidance Department at Shrek College, and Fan Yu, the Vice Dean. Old Yen, you're not being kind like this. We just want to see the Holy Sun. At least we're still members of the Sea God Pavilion, don't we even have this qualification? That's right, where exactly does the Holy Sun live? Dean Yen, come on, otherwise I'll go tell Mr. Zhuang and Mr. Lin that you're here. Xian Liner and Fan Yu chased after her. Yen Xiaoxia spread out his hands and said, I know what your plan is to have my junior apprentice learn soul weapons from you, but they are disciples personally taken by the master of the pavilion. Do you dare to steal them? Moreover, my martial soul is unparalleled in the martial soul system. How could I possibly follow you to learn soul weapons? Yen Xiaoxia was really helpless. At the end of the Sea God Pavilion meeting, the teacher also called him up and asked him to arrange some exercises and competitions for his junior brother in the college in the future. After all, Su Qing Feng is the holy son of the Sea God Pavilion, and it is impossible to keep it hidden forever. Sooner or later, he will go out to attract bees and attract butterflies. No, sooner or later, he will become the leading figure of the college, make some friends, and create some brilliance. After all, the flowers in the greenhouse, even if they bloom brilliantly, cannot withstand the brilliance of wind and rain. This principle is clear to Mu En and Yen Xiaoja. So, the elders and members of the Sea God Pavilion became entangled with him, wanting to know about Su Qingfeng. Some even wanted to teach Su Qingfeng together and pass on his family skills. These people in the Soul Guidance Department even want Su Qingfeng to learn the casting and use of Soul Guidance tools together. What more, this peerless young man who can cultivate various elemental powers is also very suitable for learning Soul Guidance tools, and can unleash more powerful combination powers than ordinary Soul Guidance Masters. In today's continent, although Soul Masters are still noble professions, they are no longer the only hegemons. More than 4,000 years ago, the collision between the Sun and Moon continent and the Doloa continent brought about war and technology, and the people of the Sun and Moon continent had unique research in the field of soul guides. The soul guides that are triggered by soul power have an overall power and attack range that exceeds the hidden weapons passed down by the thief Tang Menmen Tang San 10,000 years ago, which to some extent shakes the status of the soul master system. Soul Masters have become the second cultivation direction outside of Soul Masters. As the second leader of the Sea God Pavilion, Xian Lao thought about it all night and still felt that Su Qing Feng, a handsome guy born in the field of banishing immortals, was the most suitable to learn from his own aura. Isn't that casual and carefree style a perfect match for Su Qing Feng? Qing Ying Dolua Song also wants to teach Su Qing Feng some speed skills and body movements, so that he can run away in the future when facing danger. These senior and vice deans, Jia Su, talk to each other and tug at each other, which has annoyed Yan Xiaoja to death. The pressure is high, and it was not easy to find an opportunity to run out. But Yan Xiaoja had to admit that although my junior brother started relatively late, he had already become a group favorite of the Sea God Pavilion with his unparalleled beauty and transcendent martial soul and field. Ah! Dean Xian, Vice Dean Fan, are you trying to snatch Little Master? He's the disciple of the Pavilion Master, how dare you? Ma Xiao Tao also understood and felt a little protective in her heart. Of course, it would be best for Little Martial Uncle to stay with the Martial Soul Department and the Master's side, so that she could often find opportunities to see him. You girl, how can you talk to elders? I am also a disciple of the Lord of the Pavilion. How could I compete with the teacher for disciples? We just want to teach our junior brother more skills and life. Saving methods. What do you know? Xian Liner snorted. End of this chapter. Can you beat a soul beast for over 100,000 years in chapter 9? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Can you beat a soul beast for over 100,000 years in Chapter 9? Four days later. In the northern border town, amidst the cold wind and drifting snow, two unfamiliar figures appeared among the locals. One of the figures is an old man, leading a white horse and treading the snow without a trace. 
On the white horse sat a young man whose body was tightly wrapped in a thick white plush sweater and still shivered with coldness, making it difficult to see his face clearly. However, judging from the temperament displayed in his every move, he should be some noble young master or disciple of a sect power. The old man pounded his waist while slowly walking on the snow, causing occasional town residents to turn around and sigh, muttering. This old man is not afraid of death. In this icy and snowy world, he is still wearing such thin clothes. The person riding the horse is also very ruthless. He rides a BMW, wearing a precious mink coat, but he can't even afford to buy a warm coat for his servant. TSK TSK There are also kind-hearted people reminding them. We are already the northernmost town here. If you go further north, you will enter the boundary of the far north, where there are some powerful creatures living in the extreme north. If you encounter them, your life will be in danger. Stop it. The old man let out a breath of white air, pounded his waist, and said calmly, Thank you for your kindness, but we are going to the far north. We are an exploration team from the south. I'm in my seventies and eighties, and I should have retired long ago. Even though my waist is weak, I dare to venture into the far north and learn from others' adventures. Don't you want to die? The man glanced at Mun, shook his head, and felt that the old man was hopeless, so he left. If others were to know that the dragon god Dolua, the grand lord of the sea god pavilion, was ridiculed by a passerby like this, it would probably startle their jaws. Is Moon afraid of the cold? The answer is no. Su Qinfeng is truly afraid of the cold. These passers-by were distressed by Mu En's thin clothes, but little did they know that Su Qinfeng, wearing a coat and riding a white horse, was the pitiful one. The temperature in this small town has dropped to minus 10 degrees Celsius, which has no attributes for the martial soul. For Su Qinfeng, who has just awakened his soul power, it is a torture. Going further north, the temperature will continue to drop, possibly reaching minus 50.60 degrees Celsius. It can be said that drops of water turn into ice, which may make Su Qing feel better off than dead. Qing Feng, don't be afraid. The shivering and trembling don't match your demeanor as a banished immortal. Cheer up. What does this temperature mean to a soul master? Once you gain the power of the ice attribute, you will understand how beautiful this world is. Mu En comforted Su Qingfeng and said. Su Qingfeng said speechlessly, at least I'm not a soul master yet. Ha ha ha, obedient disciple, we are almost there. We have reached the edge town of the far north. If we walk another one or two hundred kilometers, some century-old soul beasts will appear. Soon, you will become a true soul master. The soul master world will usher in a legend. Moon is even more excited than Su Qingfeng. He has taught many disciples in his lifetime, and these disciples have all achieved remarkable results. Mingfeng Dolua Yen Xiaoja, Vice Dean of the Martial Soul Department of Shrek Academy, the most powerful soul master academy on the mainland. Martial God Dolua Xian Lin, the Vice Dean of the Soul Guidance Department of Shrek Academy, the most powerful soul master academy on the mainland. They, when spoken, are all worshipped beings and have also been taught by Moon. But for some reason, Moon had a premonition that Su Qing Feng would surpass all of them. Ha, huh, they walked in the wind and snow, and Su Qing Feng took a breath, instantly condensing into mist in the air. How many years do you plan for me to absorb the first soul ring? Four hundred years or five hundred years? Su Qing Feng asked Mu En. Ah. Moon shook his head. Too high. Why are you sighing? Su Qing Feng was puzzled. I thought Qing Feng was the unparalleled talent of all time, but I didn't expect you to be so timid. With a soul ring that has been around for four or five hundred years, does it deserve your identity? Does it deserve your martial soul? Let go of your imagination. Moon encouraged. Su Qingfeng glanced at Mu En and said, Isn't it true that the maximum lifespan of the first soul ring is four to five hundred years? You actually understand this. 
It's beyond my expectations. Moon was surprised and said, for to five hundred years is indeed the maximum lifespan of an ordinary soul master's first soul reign. Exceeding this lifespan can easily lead to sudden death during absorption. So you actually want me to die suddenly? Su Qingfeng was speechless. Oh, obedient disciple, how could the teacher let you die? I said, that's an ordinary soul master, you're not an ordinary soul master. Firstly, you have a presence in your field. Secondly, I have investigated and found that your martial soul is very powerful. Even my martial soul has a feeling of insignificance, and its tolerance is very high. Thirdly, others absorb the first soul ring, which is usually 6.10 years old. You are almost 12 years old, and your bones and body strength are relatively good moon explained the reason behind it, so, Qin Feng, you can also be considered a blessing in disguise. Although you start much slower than others, you will start much earlier. I plan to find a millennium soul beast for you. Oh, how old is your first soul ring? Su Qingfeng asked lightly. Moon. Well, a hundred-year-old yellow ring. But don't underestimate me, my soul ring configuration is among the top in the entire continent. Su Qingfeng. Ah. How do I feel like you still want me to die? Qingfeng, believe in being a teacher. Besides, as the holy son of the sea god pavilion, how can you be cowardly? Moon is serious, as the strongest of Shrek Academy, how could he deceive his disciples? Okay, teacher, have you ever seen a hundred thousand year old soul beast? Su Ching Feng suddenly grabbed the white horse under him. This is an ice covered horse that can run and survive in cold environments. Mu En specifically bought it for Su Ching Feng to travel which is expensive. Facing Su Qingfeng's eyes, which were as vast as the starry sky, Mu En hesitated for a moment and swallowed a mouthful of water. Of course I have. Can you beat a soul beast for 100,000 years? Nature, my disciple, would you like to see the 100,000-year soul rings of my master, and there are more than one, I'm sure it will shock you. Moon really wants to earn the respect of Su Qingfeng. But Su Qing Feng remained indifferent and continued to ask, What about over 300,000 years? 300,000 years. What are you asking about this for? It should also be possible. However, soul beasts of this age can be very dangerous for you. When he heard it for over 300,000 years, Moon became a bit uneasy. The most important thing is that my disciple seems to have seen some big world before casually speaking for 100,000 or 300,000 years. I dare not speak so big. Is it because he was scared to absorb the millennium soul ring? What about 700,000 years? Su Qingfeng asked again. Mu and looked at Su Qingfeng and said, Qingfeng, are you crazy? Are you freezing up? Can you just say that you can't fight? How can one lose their prestige in front of their own disciples? Moon decisively replied, of course, even the most powerful soul beast, I am not afraid. That's good, teacher. You must protect me. Su Ching Feng rode his horse, galloping on the arctic ice sheet and leaving with ease. Moon is a bit puzzled. What is this child really thinking? End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Dancing Arctic Creatures. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Dancing Arctic Creatures, Ching Feng, what do you think of that ice wolf? Although these snow bears have infinite strength, they are also too silly. They really don't match Ching Feng's temperament. This polar snow rabbit is a bit cute. Ching Feng, are you hungry? It's icy and snowy, so it's nice to roast a rabbit to warm your body. Walking in the inner circle of the far north, some thousand-year-old soul beasts began to appear, but the soul beasts were not dense and very sparse. Sometimes it takes several miles to encounter a soul beast, which is not comparable to the density of soul beasts in the starry forest. After confirming that Mu En could defeat the soul beast for over 700,000 years, Su Qingfeng felt relieved. However, 
He knew that there were several terrifying beings in this far northern land, but he could not make it clear to Muen. I'm a cute newcomer, how do I know about a 100,000-year-old soul beast? After wandering in the far north for most of the day, Su Qingfen's skin froze. They have encountered many thousand-year soul beasts, but they have all been passed by moon. The reason is that every soul ring and soul skill are important and difficult to replace, and they do not conform to Su Qingfeng's temperament. Mu Wen wants to find a rare and precious top-dot-level young beast with ancient bloodline for Su Qingfeng. I'm hungry, let's eat. Mun really caught that polar snow rabbit and slaughtered it. Su Qingfeng was a little curious, this place, minus tens of degrees Celsius, and there's no use for firewood. How can we cook it? He he, Qing Feng, study hard. There are many wonderful uses of elements. You don't necessarily need firewood to make a fire, and you don't necessarily need fire to grill food. Mu En suddenly emitted a faint glow from his body. Remember, the martial soul of the teacher is the holy dragon of light, who has mastered the power of light. A magical thing has happened. The light in space was mobilized by moon, gathering into a ball and shining on the polar snow rabbit. The snow.white rabbit fur was instantly burned clean, and in the blink of an eye, the water in the rabbit meat immediately evaporated. A burst of roasted meat aroma dissipated, and even a few tens of degrees below zero could not freeze that aroma. Su Qingfeng's gaze finally changed. Moon noticed and almost didn't cry. Others are all disciples of filial piety teachers, and it's so difficult for me to please my disciples. Su Qingfeng's face was exposed from inside her sweater. Due to the cold weather, her face turned a bit red, and even her eyebrows were covered in a layer of ice. Cold air seeped in, causing Su Qingfeng to shiver uncontrollably. At this moment, a magical power suddenly emanated from Su Qingfeng's body, and a realm emerged under his feet. For a moment, the mist shrouded in mist, dragons and phoenixes danced and cranes appeared auspicious, dispelling all the chill outside the realm. At this moment, Su Qingfeng was like the sun of ice sitting cross-legged in a glacier, with a perfect appearance. The frost blended with the field and turned into snowflakes, making Su Qingfeng look like a dream. Surprisingly, it is a domain stress release, and a level 10 soul power can perfectly resist minus tens of degrees Celsius. It seems that there are still many areas for us to explore in this immortal realm. Seeing this scene, even Moon widened his eyes. He has lived for so long, accustomed to wind and rain, but this is the first time he has encountered such a field. At the moment when the field was fully exposed, Su Qingfeng seemed to have the bloodline of a celestial being, like a god and also a fairy, making Mu and couldn't help but admire it. Handsome, so handsome. This kid. Every time I see him, it's like seeing the young me. I must arrange the best life for the young me. Once the field emerges, it is unparalleled in the world. Su Qingfeng felt like a spring breeze, and the chill on her body had basically disappeared. At the same time, the emergence of the realm of banished immortals alarmed even the northernmost creatures lurking and sleeping in caves and snow underground. They woke up one after another, attracted by the power of that field. Xuebao Mouse arched holes in the snow, revealing its white fluffy head and looking around. The ice wolf stood on the snowy mountain howling, but it didn't seep through, but instead sounded like an obedient little dog. Emperor Enterprises with a cultivation of up to 9,000 years also joined in, dancing their wings foolishly, and the atmosphere of the entire ice and snow world changed. They emitted their own beautiful chirps, as if showing goodwill to Su Qingfeng. At first, Moon thought these soul beasts would be detrimental to Su Qingfeng, but soon he realized. These creatures from the far north have little malicious intent. They are all attracted to Su Qingfeng and want to get close to him. They try their best to show each other their best selves and make better sounds than other soul beasts, hoping to become Su Qingfeng's companions. Muen had a bold guess in his heart, suspecting that it was not entirely due to Su Qingfeng's appearance and domain, but also related to his martial soul. Prior to this, 
they had already known that Su Qingfeng's polar star martial soul could cultivate nine extreme attributes. Before absorbing the attributes, his polar star was in a state of waiting to be activated. Are these soul beasts trying to become Su Qingfeng's soul rings? No, no, where is a soul beast willing to become a soul ring? That's the price of life. Is it true that the aesthetics of soul beasts and humans are the same? Do they also think Su Qingfeng is so handsome? Or is it that Su Qingfeng has a combination of soul beasts? Even Moon was confused. For a long time to come, the soul beasts in the far north were dancing, and more and more soul beasts gathered around just to catch a glimpse of Su Qingfeng. Some of the natural enemies, soul beasts, also let go of their hostility at this moment and did not kill each other. This is truly a magical scene. After finishing their meal, Mu En and Su Qingfeng set off again, heading towards the depths of the far north. Along the way, Mu En unexpectedly discovered that a thousand-year soul beast was also attracted by Su Qingfeng. This gave the well-informed Moon an illusion that Su Qingfeng was the son of ice, the son of ice god. In this way, Su Qingfeng's first soul ring is no longer a problem and can be chosen at will. Emperor Penguin, Snow Treasure, Ice Wolf, Polar Dragon. Are all soul beasts with decent bloodline, which are cherished by some ice attribute soul masters. Many soul masters cannot achieve this bloodline quality with their third and fourth soul rings. If it were normal, Moon might feel that the quality of this first soul ring is already very good. After all, the first soul ring is usually the worst for soul masters, and can only be used in the early stages of soul masters. In the later stages, it can only be used to play with children at home. This is also an unavoidable issue for soul masters, even for Moon. But now, Moon thinks we can take another look because gradually, some king-level creatures have appeared. Ice Wolf King Snow Treasure King After the Polar Rabbit Ice and Snow Elf King They are all ice attribute soul beasts that have been around for over 10,000 years. Mu En looked at Su Qingfeng in amazement. Su Qingfeng opened her hand and said that having great charm is not my fault, and I am also very helpless. At this moment, in the core of the far north, a figure of Juechen, who was only one dot third inferior to Su Qingfeng, woke up in the dancing ice and snow. She heard the cheers of the creatures from the far north at this moment. End of this chapter